Hey, welcome to another awesome video from Creative.xyz. It's Habib, and today I would love to thanks everyone for their support in my YouTube channel as well in our Instagram account. So with that said, today I would love to bring you guys some tips and tricks that you can use a MacBook Pro 2019 to edit almost your every video 4K. Actually, the Blackmagic RAW or the Cinema DNG with this awesome machine. At the meantime, in 2020, we have the MacBook Pro 16 inch baseline, which can cost you around 2,800 bucks. And I love to recommend this awesome bad boy, which can cost you less than that. And you can get the same performance from the boot computer. And today I'm going to guide you guys how to buy a powerful machine for your workflow, actually editing workflow and the color gaming at the meantime as well. As you know, we have the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and 4K that can record raw image and the Apple ProRes. But we know the raw image are very enormous when it's come to the size. It's very huge and you have to have many terabytes of hard drive to record the like one hour or maybe 20 minutes. So I recommend to buy an awesome machine that can support or help you to work very easily and very smooth with this kind of footage. Okay, in this video, in the first category, I will love to introduce my MacBook Pro 2019, which is a baseline and awesome machine that can work my all workflow that I'm using with this awesome bad boy. So after that, in the second category, I will love to check this machine with the different and versions of softwares like DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro for rendering as well for color gaming. So in the third and final category, I will recommend you guys which computer or which machine you have to buy in a good budget and you can use that like the new MacBook Pro 16-inch 2020 baseline. As you know, the MacBook Pro 2016 baseline price is around 2,800, which is 16 GB gigs with 512 gigs and 4 GB of NVIDIA. So this computer is actually in the same specs, just only difference of the year. Actually, it's a Core i9, same like the MacBook Pro 2016. So with that said, if you like content like this, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Let's start. Well, in the first place, let's get jump to the computer and check this awesome machine specification that we have right now. Let me check this. It is a MacBook Pro 2019 i9, uh, actually Core i9, with 2.3 GHz and 8 core processor. And after that, we have 16 gigs of RAM, 2400 GHz, which is DDR4 and very awesome when you're editing uh, like videos and color editing will help you much more to speed up your workflow as i mentioned before this computer is a baseline which is the standard from the apple company and you cannot replace the ram and the sd drive with this machine you have to add these things while you are purchasing this awesome machine from the apple website so i will recommend you guys this awesome machine which is a baseline same like the new macbook pro 2020 16 inch the both machine performance are the same, but this machine will cost you less than that, much, much better book as well. So this machine has everything like the butterfly keyboard, the awesome, the same chassis with the MacBook Pro 2016. And as you can see, it has the awesome speaker as well. But when it's come to the sound that the MacBook Pro 2016 is designed for music compositor, which has a lot better and awesome sound. And you can check the video from Max up here that has a comparison between the MacBook Pro 2019 and 2016 inch. So let's get jump to the computer and check the Blackmagic disk speed, how much data it can write and read and which type of format it supports for us. Okay. So the right speed is around 1,871 MB per second, which is very awesome that you can edit up to 4K, 
60 frames per second in this awesome machine. The Cinema Dringy, the Apple ProRes RAW 422 and the Apple ProRes HQ as well. And the 10-bit and compressor data or footage as well you can edit on this machine. But in the read speed with its cam, it is a much better and higher. It's around 2560 ATMB as you can see it right now. You can edit any flavor of codec that you love with this awesome machine up to 4K. Let's get jump to the some software likes. I love to work all the time with the DaVinci Resolve to edit a video, actually a 4K video, to see the playback and also the machine performance. Well, before we get jump to the DaVinci Resolve, I would love to check the raw speed as well. I mean the Blackmagic raw disk speed as well. As you can see here, I have the software with me and it is performing the 4K 12.5.1. So let's start. Okay, so you can edit on this machine 8K up to 30 frames per second. So let's close this and jump into the image result to see the performance of two, three, uh, sometimes three clips of the 4K in one timeline. Here now I am in DaVinci Resolve Series 16, the new version which is released yesterday I think and I have updated because I would love to update everything on the time. So I have here a 4K image without any optimized or any proxy mode. So it is playing very awesome and clear as you can see the playback time is very 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 smooth. It is actual 24 frames per second with the 4K. So let's uh, combine two or three 4K image in one timeline to see the actual performance of this machine. As you can see here, we have nine clips 4K, which is 24 frames per second, and it can play very well and smooth in this machine without any stops or without any drop frame looking perfect as you can see the machine is going around and it's work very fine i love it so let's add one more to the all of this clip to see the performance okay let's combine all of them with each other like this combine clip one let's jump to the color tab and we have here this okay from the gallery from the LUTs we will pick this one the black magic LUT okay as you can see it's now applied let's play this again okay it works very fine we have nine clips 4k uh, the 4K timeline at this playing very awesome with 24 frames per second without any drop frames and without any like you know better than it seems that you can edit on this as 8K 30 frames per second uh, footage as well on this awesome machine and as you can see it doesn't have any nice loud fan. Well, at the end, I would love to highly recommend this awesome machine over the MacBook Pro 2016 2020, which will cost you 2800 bucks. And you can buy this machine less than that, and you can save your money as well. At the meantime, you will have a high performance machine that can edit 8K 30 frames per second. So with that said, I have a video regarding that how you can use your older Mac like 2020 Mate or 13 or 14 to change the SSD drive or update the RAM to get the 95% faster performance on that machine. So you can check that video as well up here. Well, at the end, I would love to thank everyone for their time and for their support in this channel. And I will love to mention YouTube.xyz, which will give you free and fresh live every week updated. And you can download the lots completely free. I did a video regarding the password as well. You can check up here the video. And you can download free and fresh lots 
every time from our website. So with that said, stay safe and stay creative.